Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this Forza Horizon gameplay. We're about to make our way towards the Top Gear show so we can complete a Top Gear mission for the television show. Let's have a look at the car. In 400 meters, turn right. Let's go. Turn right. Just concentrate on the turns a little bit. You good. I'm going to smash that board. <laughs> In 400 meters, turn right. That was a hard turn. <laughs> Right. Turning right. 200 meters. Turn left. Turn As left. some of you know, Forza Horizon 4 is set in, in the 200 UK. 200 meters. Turn left. Turning left. Turn left. Uh, that's a dirt racing track. That's not what we're looking for. Let's continue. Let's keep going. I like to switch to this view every now and then. Adds to the realism. The immersion. Woo. Watch out. You have arrived at your destination. Oops. Just realise we're here. Let's go and we'll do it solo. Next chapter, Top Gear, let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's see what goes on in this chapter. Oh, we just did. earlier. Local company, Aisha's Taxis. Excellent service. Got me here in no time. Unsurprising, yeah. really. I mean, look at what turned up. Hands down, the quickest cab I've ever been in. Yeah. I was thinking, how fast could this thing actually go? Ooh, speed challenge. Speed challenge. So I had a word with Aisha. Asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. To Bamborough Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi's legs a bit. Although this is a I might have forgotten taxi? to tell her who'd be driving. You've guessed it. The cabbie who'll always get you to your destination very early, but probably won't be anywhere near where you asked to go. Those tires must be worn now. Ooh, this, this car is, is rapid. In 100 meters, turn left. Holding you go. to the delicate balance of throttle, steering, and shouting. Let's go, Stig. Now that's what I call a cab. No clattery diesel engine here. This has a V12 with over 750 horsepower, plus bucket seats. Beaded bucket seats, presumably. Go around it. Let's go, Stig. In the snow, baby. For a taxi. <laughs> Imagine being in a taxi. From now on, I say all cabs should have wide bodies and flared arches. Think about it. More stability, more speed, more downforce, more room for your terrified passengers. <laughs> Oh, so much traffic. Get out of the way. Oh, where you come from? It even has slick tyres for maximum grip. I was about to say that. Drag strip. So they should be interesting when we hit the beach. Turn right. Dig is making minutes happen here, that was close, Dig. <laughs> no one knows where to go now. Can't see. I couldn't see. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man was on the wrong side of the road. Turn left. Emergency brake turn. As big as a madman. <laughs> Turn left. Stick the stuntman. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. There you go. Turn into it. Uh, beauty. Turn left. In 400 meters, turn right. We're almost there. We can make it. We can make it. Turn right. Let's go through. Turn left. You can make it stick. Good work from the stick there. Yeah. Nicely warmed up for the next bit. <laughs> so All right, next then. part. In the old days, daredevils used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Oh. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? There's a beach in Wales that has the uh, motorbike record, I think. Oh, look at that. Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on sand. But yeah. that's the challenge here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the Stig. What's that? Yo, man's on fire. Speed record rules say you must do two runs, one in each direction before the clock runs out. Which means, Stiggy, pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn, which of course is when the handbrake comes in handy. Could have told me earlier. Go, 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 Stig, go. You got this. No, we're not turning. A five star. Yeah, buddy. Mini cab. What are you saying? <laughs> if you enjoyed this gameplay, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up.